Hello, viewers. Today's topic is achondroplasia. Achondroplasia is a disorder of bone growth that causes the most uh, common type of dwarfism. Uh, achondroplasia is one of a group of disorders called uh, uh, chondrodystrophies, you know. And uh, achondroplasia uh, may be inherited as an autosomal dominant trait. Uh, which means uh, uh, that uh, if a child gets the defective gene from one parent, uh, the child will have disorder. Uh, if one parent has uh, a chondroplasia, the infant has a 50% chance of inheriting the disorder. And if both percent, uh, parents have the condition, the infant's uh, chances of being uh, affected increases up to 75%, you know. Uh, the most cases appear as spontaneous mutations, so this means that two parents without um, uh, achondroplasia may give birth to a baby with uh, this kind of condition, you know. Uh, the typical appearance of the achondroplastic uh, uh, dwarfism can be seen at birth, you know, and the symptoms may include like uh, uh, abnormal hand appearance uh, with persistent space between the long uh, and uh, ring fingers, you know, or uh, uh, bored legs or decreased muscle tone or uh, uh, like uh, prominent forehead, you know, which is uh, frontal bossing, you know, and uh, shortened arms and legs or short stretcher, you know, uh, or narrowing of the spinal column, uh, spinal stenosis, and uh, spine curvatures called uh, uh, kyphosis. So these are the common symptoms associated with the achondroplasia. Uh, you know, uh, during pregnancy or the parental uh, or the prenatal uh, ultrasound, uh, there may be evidence of excessive uh, amni amniotic fluid that is surrounding the unborn infant. You know. And the examination uh, of the infant after birth shows increased uh, front to back uh, head size. And uh, this may be sign of uh, uh, hydrocephalus, which means uh, water in the brain, you know, water on the brain, you know, uh, more water in the brain, you know. Now the x-rays of the long bones can uh, reveal uh, um, achondor, achondroplasia uh, in the newborn babies. Uh, so this was the diagnosis, you know. The next thing is treatment. Uh, in fact, there is uh, a no specific treatment for the uh, achondroplasia. Now the related abnormalities, including like uh, spinal stenosis and uh, spinal cord compression, and can be treated when they cause problems. Uh, the people with uh, this condition uh, reach uh, five feet in height, you know. And uh, intelligence uh, is the normal range. So infants who receive the abnormal gene from both parents do not uh, often live beyond a few months, you know. Now the possible complications of this condition include like uh, breathing problems from a small upper airway or from pressure on the area of the brain that uh, controls the breathing, you know, or the lung problems from the small uh, rib cage. So these are the most common complications. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, this or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.